ever wondered why cows are so big? Well, it has a lot to do with this guy, Robert Bakewell, a well-known 18th century British farmer. In nature, living creatures evolve for survival, and natural mutations in genetic material can have desirable effects, such as resistance to disease or the ability to survive in different climates. But Robert wanted more, more meat to eat, more milk to drink, and more wool to make lovely warm jumpers. In the 1700s, people didn't know about genetics, but they had noticed that baby animals often grew up to be like their parents, and Robert's cunning plan was to develop this into a special breeding system which we call selective breeding, an approach used to grow plants and animals to be bigger, better, and more efficient. First, he separated his male and female livestock to prevent unplanned breeding. Then he observed which animals had good features, such as large size, strength, and health, and he used those to breed whilst removing livestock with poor qualities like weakness and illness. The selectively bred offspring then mated with each other, and their children were bigger and better than before. So he did it again, and again, and again. In this way, Robert began to create his own super farm animals. The beefed up Leicestershire Longhorn cow, the extra hairy Leicester sheep, and even the super strong Shire horse. Robert's methods were popular, and a similar approach to selective breeding can still be seen today. Techniques such as artificial insemination can be used to breed livestock with desired genetic characteristics from around the world rather than relying on local animals as Robert had to. And it even works for bees. Robert would have been impressed with modern developments too, like genetic modification, in which genes, the building blocks of life, are directly manipulated through biotechnology crossing characteristics not just between different varieties, but even different species. As Robert showed us, altering animals can help to feed and clothe us. But is it always ethical to make such changes? Some modern chickens grow three times as quickly and up to four times the size of chickens from 50 years ago. But this can lead to health problems and suffering for the animals. So where do you think this will lead? What will a super cow of the future look like?